At this normally bustling Bangkok poultry market, there is a disturbing quiet. Buyers here keeping away in their droves, afraid of bird flu, a new and deadly variant of flu that has killed dozens already and threatens to become a world epidemic. Since the second outbreak in July, any doubts about the potential devastation this disease could cause have gone out the window. The Ministry of Agriculture has identified 37, 37 provinces with the H5N1, and they say the area, this is uh, Thailand, and the area that they, they have this infection, the identification with H5N1, is focusing on the, on the lower north, the lower north of Thailand. Since the second outbreak earlier this year, the spread of the disease has been alarming. Literally hundreds of farms have been hit, with more than one million chickens and other poultry destroyed. The threat has anything but subsided. Across the country, farmers are still frantically disinfecting, but with little or no knowledge about the virus, it's difficult to make any concrete inroads. As recently as May this year, Prime Minister Thaksin Sinawatra declared Thailand free from bird flu after initial outbreak late last year. Along with his daughter, Sinawatra was happy to show how eating chicken was safe at a fast food restaurant. But along with the new and unexpected outbreak of bird flu, this time experts are somewhat more cautious. The Prime Minister only said the deadline in October, but he accepted scientific uh, uh, conclusion that we have to brace ourselves for something even something even longer than that. At the Sri Chacha Zoo in Chonburi province near Pattaya, more than 400 rare Bengal tigers got sick after eating infected chicken. 200 of them had to be put down. Many other species have also been affected. Fish, snakes and crocodiles have also shown signs of infection. But concern is also focusing on the human victims. Twelve Thais have already died from bird flu, from just 17 so far diagnosed. For the World Health Organization, the deaths are the first signs of a global flu epidemic they have long been expecting. I think that it hit everywhere because uh, you are facing with uh, a new pathogen that human body never recognized. So uh, actually you, you, you know that basic uh, signs uh, give us the knowledge that uh, when a, a pathogen coming into your body, normally you, uh, if, if the immune system of, of the body recognizes the pathogen, they have the, the mechanism to block, to block the, the, uh, the pathogen so that it would uh, uh, minimize the damage that that pathogen would cause to the body, right? But uh, you are facing with something that is very brand new. At the Bamras Naradura Institute in Bangkok, a specialist hospital for communicable illness, the isolation unit has been converted whole scale to dealing with victims of bird flu. At the moment, most beds still lie empty, but doctors here expect that to change. I think now we are, we are not uh, ready to, to cope with the epidemic of, of the avian flu or any uh, pandemic flu, but now we are in the, the process of pre preparedness to prepare the plan for this. In the hospital, we have we have isolation, we have protection, but for the people in the rural area, they, they don't have that. That's why now we are trying to give the education, you see, at the spot, at, at the, I mean, in the television, that the, the, the government uh, produce the media. 
This government health warning is run daily across all Thai TV networks, explaining to people what steps to take in the event of infection. Maintaining good hygiene and taking the relevant precautions are the key messages. The WHO is bracing itself for a worldwide pandemic. Many indications of such an event are already distressingly evident. Our tools to, to cope with this kind of situation is that trying to develop as fast as possible the vaccine that can prevent uh, the infection in, um, in human or uh, develop the drugs. The WHO has expressed this as an emergency, an urgent need. So if H5N1 uh, turns to be a, 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 the strain that causing pandemic tomorrow, then you need uh, quite a, a period of time before you can get the, the amount of vaccine to be giving to the people of the world. This is the, the, the concern. Does, uh, it, does it mean it, it could be too late? Yes, yes. I think that uh, uh, because um, if you are a vaccine manufacturer, you need, uh, and you, you need to invest, right? And who knows? If H5N1 is not uh, causing any, any pandemic, uh, the investor would lose. Sufanburi province in the north of the country is one of the worst hit regions. Here, a duck farm is examined by health department officials. 10% of the battling are rounded up and samples are taken. Just one of these ducks needs to test positive for the entire flock to be destroyed. We're concerned about the free-range nature of these ducks. They can just wander anywhere, taking the virus with them. They're not fenced in like on a, on a chicken farm, so the spread of the disease could be amazingly quick. The government has accredited over one million volunteers to help deal with the epidemic. Each one will visit ten families, offering information and basic tests. This group is visiting a cock breeder. Clearly surprised by the visit, urgent precautions and information are hastily passed across. The head of the group tells her any suspicious behavior by any of the cocks must be reported. But for some farmers, the group's arrival comes too late. This chicken farm has already twice been hit by bird flu, on both occasions having its entire chicken stock destroyed. The impact on poor farmers is devastating. You came and destroyed all my 4,000 chickens. My whole existence is destroyed. I think that uh, uh, most experts right now believe that it, it, it can come up any time now. And uh, H5N1 is one potential candidate because actually we know that uh, um, um, this is a virulent uh, virus strain and it is abundant, it is still prevalent uh, in the environment, uh, at least in, in some countries in Asia and uh, it has the ability to infect human. For now, all the world can do is watch and wait. For Thailand's populations, both chicken and human, the long-term prognosis does not look good. But worryingly, as with SARS, it seems the spread of the virus to Europe and beyond isn't far away either. <laughs>